Hello dear pupils and my dear listeners, I'm glad to greet you at my English lesson again. And my topic for today is two constructions, used to and would. They were going to investigate the difference between them, so let's start. Well, used to and would are both used in uh, some description, in description what is going to happen. But First of all, you should know that if you will miss some little detail, you will lose the whole meaning of the sentence. For this purpose, you should investigate them deeply and know how to use uh, this or that construction in particular sentence. Look please at my example before we'll start our investigation. So, I used to smoke. Actually, it means that we had some habit of smoking. But I quit it last year. Whenever I craved a cigarette, I would chew gum instead. So it means that you quit and now you do some another things instead of that. Well, and what is the main peculiarity and difference between these two structures, used to and would? Well, there are two important things that you should know. First of all, is would should not be used unless it has already been established and uh, it means that you are talking about some plans which are fixed in your speech beforehand. Well, while used to does not require this. Used to, you may say spontaneously just about some fact. Well, example of this usage. I used to watch cartoons every Saturday morning when I was a little. Now I rarely watch TV. So can you see? Uh, so this beginning sounds natural without preparation, spontaneously we are saying it without just some plan. Well, and uh, here I will represent you example with wood. So I would watch cartoons every Saturday morning when I was a little. Now I really watch it. So what is the difference between these two really similar sentences? Well, used to is replaced with would, first of all, and the same example became awkward and ungrammatical. Actually, you cannot fix like this. So it means you represent absolutely another tense with your construction, but they should be at the same wave, at the same level, at the same, of course, tense. Well, next uh, peculiarity that you should know is, uh, when I was little, I would get up and watch cartoons every Saturday morning, now I rarely watch it. What is represented here in this example? So, before would appears, and uh, past tense, you may see past tense, so would sounds fine here, it depends on sentence, if you will continue and you will add some additional information necessary for this particular construction, it will sound perfectly, so do not remember about changing your sentence if you use this or that particular construction, it's really requirable. The second difference between uh, used to and would is like uh, stative verbs. So what is stative verbs? Stative verbs as a rule used uh, in some situations which are not in progress. Actually it means that in progressive tenses such kind as uh, present continuous or past continuous or future continuous cannot be used just in uh, simple tenses or resultative tenses so please remember this fact or your sentences are going to be illogical well compare again sentences examples according to them you may understand our topic far more better well when i was a student i used to love sleeping late on the weekends and another sentence, when I was a student, I would love sleeping on the weekends. So, awkward and ungrammatical, the second sentence. 
Why? Because of its structure, because of stative verb. So that's why it's really important to follow this rule, rule number two, recommendation number two in your grammar. So I hope that this lecture was really interesting and beneficial for you. Try to use and try to practice these rules in your life and you will be successful at your next lesson. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.